Hey there guys, my name's Chris and welcome to the Fish Aquarium Graveyard. Tonight we're gonna talk about DIY aquarium filter cartridges. Uh, I'm gonna say it, aquarium filter cartridges are a waste of money and you should not be buying them. By the way, it's raining slash storming. So if you hear thunder, um, everything's gonna be okay, I guess. So let me flip the cam here and I wanna talk about this. So here is a lot of aquariums. And what we're talking about today mainly is filter cartridges. Here is a Seachem title. Um, what happens is this, this doesn't come with a normal cartridge. Um, let me find one here. Here, oh, here are some cartridges. This is what aquarium filter companies try to sell you. Uh, what you do is you open it up um, and this is all kind of like a sales gimmick. These are a complete waste of money. You should not be buying these because number one, you should never be throwing away your filter pad because that's the entire cycle, what's holding the entire cycle uh, in your aquarium. What you should be doing is buying a generic filter pad. Here's a filter here. Buying a generic filter pad and just like what happens is if you get on Amazon, I'll throw a link in the description box, you just buy like filter pad, generic foam padding like this, and you cut it to fit in your hang on the back aquarium filter. And, and you never change it. You never change it. What you do is you rinse it and you rinse it in aquarium water. Here's another um, setup. This has two different types of foam. Ideally, this would be like the best setup ever. As you can see, I have aquarium filters and tanks everywhere. Um, I kind of have an issue with collecting them. So uh, here is a finer foam. See the foam, they call this uh, parts per inch, I wanna say. It's 30, like 30 PPI is what they call this. And this is a less porous foam. Take this out. This is going to be your DIY aquarium filter cartridge. It's cheap and you never have to buy any again. See. This one's a little more coarse. And what happens is, as the water gets sucked up into the filter, uh, it filters it through the coarse pad, and then it goes through the more, less coarse pad, or the finer pad. And it just goes in there like so. And you, you know, chances are you don't have some huge monster hang on the back filter like that. Um, let's go back over to the Seachem. What you can do is you can cut this foam pad to fit any size aquarium filter you have. And that's what I do on all of my filters. And that's what you should do too. What you do is you just cut it to fit. This is kind of a funky, uh, this would be a tough one to cut. It's better like when they're kind of like a square size. What the heck is that, a little bug? It's a little ant, weird. I mean, it's not that weird, but what I would do with this one is maybe cut it to fit in this spot right there. See right there? And then I would maybe put lava rock back here. And then um, uh, and then the lava rock would be your biological filtration while the padding is your mechanical. Padding is mainly mechanical. It can also be biological once it grows some bacteria. Um, but yeah, this stuff, I'll throw a link in the description box. This is the best DIY aquarium filter cartridge hack. You'll never have to buy them ever again. You buy these foam pads in like 12 inch by 12 inch sections on Amazon. And it's like, 10 bucks and you'll never have to buy any more of this crud. This is a sales gimmick. Like for, for real, these Aquatec filters they used to sell at Walmart, complete garbage. And they're like, oh, just continuously keep buying them and just put them in your filter, garbage. Uh, I don't even know why I have these. So without further ado guys, hopefully that helps you when trying to figure out um, some DIY aquarium filter padding or um, you know, Let's see here, put this guy back. Where did I find these? Just so like I can, you know, because chances are I'll be setting up a tank soon because we are putting all these aquariums inside the house and uh, chances are I'll be looking for this padding because this is a pretty sick setup, especially on like a big cichlid tank, a, a six foot aquarium, 75 gallon or something like that. This is a perfect situation for me right here. These are kind of a pain to get in there and how you know when the filter pads clog or start to clog and need to be cleaned is by your water flow. When, when, you're, when the flow starts filling this over overflow, they actually call this an overflow. So when the padding is clogged, the water just goes up in here and it runs over these right here. So, and that's when you know when to clean your filter pad. So 
Without further ado, guys, hit the like button. Hopefully this helped you. I know it's kind of a weird on-the-go video. I just happened to be out here and someone messaged me. And I'm like, man, I should do a quick video on this. So, don't mind the mattress. Trailer Park Boys. Lot for life. Yeah, I still got a bunch of tanks in here. So this will be kind of cool to get them inside. We are filling the entire house with aquariums. We have over 50 in the house. You might be wondering what size this octagon tank is. It's 480 gallons. So pretty sick, right? I can't fit it inside the house. So you ever had that obstacle? You have a giant aquarium, but you can't fit it inside the house because there's no patio door. Pretty cool, huh? This one is a 360 gallon. Um, I bought this I bought this used, this acrylic tank. It's pretty cool. So the only issue is I don't know if it holds water. So, and it could probably use a center brace because when you fill it with water, you know, it's probably gonna bow. Even though it's pretty thick, it's probably gonna bow. So we want some center braces. All right, guys, without further ado, I'm gonna go on inside and do some uh, other stuff. So yeah, hit up, the, hit, up, hit up the comment section. I wanna hear what you think. Um, yeah, because if you have any issues with your filter and your filter pad, hit me up in the co comment section. I can't speak, I gotta go.